I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you step by step how to design a logo in Canva from scratch. Canva is a platform that allows users to create logos and other designs who are completely free. So once you have created your Canva account, what you'll need to do is simply tap on the search bar and you could type in logo or you could tap on logo right here below the search bar. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you will see some template options from the left hand menu option right here. So you can also select from any one of these categories, as you can see the different options. So if you were to select circle, you can see circle frame and so on. You could also tap on styles and from there you could change the color or so. But since we are creating this logo from scratch, you can use any one of these options as inspiration. Now to get started, you can decide whether you like to create a circular logo or a different style. But let's say you like to create a circle logo. You're going to need to tap on elements from the top left hand corner. Then from there, what you're going to do next is you're going to type in circle frame. And you're going to tap on that. After you have done that, you can tap on see all. Then from there, you can see the different frame options. And we're going to be selecting this one right here. Now that it has been added to our page, as you can see there, you could add in your company's crest or so on. So you could select uploads from the left hand menu option. After you have selected upload, let's say for example, I would like to add this image. All I would need to do is drag and place the image as you can see right there. Now, if it is a case that you'd like to also add text, you can do that. So you could go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text. Then you can select any one of these text styles. So we're just going to select this one and you have a few options. If it is a case that you like the text to be wrap around the logo, you could do that. So for example, let's say I am creating a logo for simple racing. So I'll simply select the entire text box and I'm going to type in simple racing. Then I want this text box to wrap around the logo. All you'll need to do is tap on effects from the top right hand corner of the navigation bar. Then you're going to scroll down and you can see the different effects that you can use. By the way, if it is a case that you'd like to add a shadow, you could do that. And you can also change the color of the shadow by tapping on the color box. Then for example, I could change the color of the shadow to let's say blue so you can get a better view of how it would look. Then from there, you can change the direction as you can see right there. So it can appear different if you want. Another thing that you can also do is I'm going to be removing that. So I'll simply go back. So you can scroll down and to curve the text, you'll tap on curve right there and you can see how it looks. If you would like it to curve even further, you can scroll down and you could pull along the line right here. So you'll pull it to the right and you can see that the text now starts to wrap around the logo. And you could do this once more and you could add another text box down here if you want. But I will leave this as is. And if you like to change the font style, all you have to do is select the text box. After selecting the text box, you could tap where you see Canva Sans on my screen. And from there, you can select any one of these font styles that you would like to use. So you can see different font styles right there. If you like to change the font color, you could do that by tapping where you see the capital A. Then from there, you can choose a different font color if you want. And you can see recommended font colors based on the image that you have uploaded. So if I would like to change it to purple, I could do that as you can see right there. Once you're finished and everything is to your liking, all you need to do now is tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then you'll tap on download and from there you'll tap on save. And if it was a case that you would like to download your logo with a transparent background, Unless you're on the paid plan on Canva, you wouldn't be able to do that. But don't worry, I will be showing you a quick and free workaround. All you'll need to do after you have downloaded your logo from Canva, you're going to open a new tab and you're going to go onto remove.bg. 
This is a platform that allows users to remove their background for completely free. So you are going to select upload image and from there you are going to select the logo that you have created. So let's do that real quick and I'm going to tap on open. After you have done that you can see right there it has removed the background. So if I were to tap on download, once it has been downloaded, if it is the case that I would like to open it, so you can see it right here, you can see it here without the background. So now you have a logo with a transparent background. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.